GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 10.2 Arid Start. So this is going to be Season 2, uh, Episode 1 of Season 2. And we're going to start on an arid planet uh, and build up our base to get attacked there. And we're going to build up a bigger base on this planet. And I'm going to go for a mountain base. So let's get started. Um, that's my name. That's the seed looks fine. You know what? Who cares? If you want to follow along, that's the seed I'm using. 977966. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was completely random. Um, Difficulty settings, let's change this. We're going to start with hard. Actually, we'll do the medium. I'm just going to leave this stuff medium. Who cares about the environment and life stats? By, by the end of the first couple of days, that's not really relevant to the game that much anymore. You know, the oxygen consumption on the arid, sure. But it, this isn't an Ironman competition, so I'm not, I don't need to crank all those right up to kill me for you know, not having my O2 up and running within 30 seconds. Um, so we're going to do rich deposits with plenty. Uh, auto miner depletion true. We're going to turn on mass volume. We are going to, who cares about block limits? Actually, you know what? We'll turn all that on. The... The spawn limit. Uh, you know what? We'll leave that off. We'll 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 let it spawn off of a base at this point because I just don't care. <laughs> uh, okay, so we want this to crank up a bit, not instant, but we'll do fast. And then enemies, we want all hard. So the drone presence high and the drone base attack high. Is that it? Low. Normal, high. So you can just turn that right off if you want. But we're going to go for high. Okay. Because uh, we want the worst possible attack that we can get. That's it. That's it. And I think that's it. Let's do that. And then the planet size, medium. You know what? We'll go with medium. I don't want it too big it just takes forever to explore so let's let's do it sorry i just took a a little bit of a tea break well taking advantage of the uh load time Although my computer is quite a fast computer, this this would be um, lots of people just <laughs> cut this out of the video to tell you the truth because it takes too long. Here we go, almost there. And any second here, we'll load in. Here we go. Okay. Let's just, oh, look at this crash site. There's water right over there. There's green area. There is um, radiated area. Let's head over to towards the water in the green area, I think. Although, you know what? It doesn't really matter. What we need to do is find all the, uh, there's an iron deposit. You know what? Let's head over towards the iron deposit then. We will do the Robson Protocol here too, might as well, or whatever they call it, the, I think it's what it is. Uh, okay, so open the PDA, is F1. So this is the Integrated Data Pad Assistant, and there was a malfunction in my vessel's engine system resulting in its destruction. I successfully abandoned the ship and have crash-landed on the planet in your escape pod. My vitals are stable. 
Uh, so the ERP has been activated. Do you want to follow it? Yes. So we will get 500 experience points and 10 upgrade points. That's what I like is the 10 upgrade points. It actually helps quite a bit in the lower levels. So let's follow what it wants us to do. For, I'm going to start picking some of the stuff right off, off the bat though. I'm going to switch to my third party view because you can see a little bit higher and further. It's easier for gathering, in my opinion. So, open inventory. I'm going to tab into the inventory, and it wants us to... We need to eat and heal, so select energy bar, eat it. And use a health pack. So, shift right mouse button. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, it'll tell us what to do in a second here. So, select survival tool. So, put that down in our bar. And what do we want to do with it? I guess we're going to select it. So, select one. So, the survival tool has a bunch of modes to it. Um, it has defense mode. So, it can be used for shirt range defense and also harvest wood. So you can attack stuff with it. Um, so I can harvest trees and and I can attack creatures with it at a fairly decent range. I can keep them. You can keep usually deal with spiders and the crickets fairly decently with it. Okay. Oh, it looks like there's a crash vessel over there. That might be where we're heading. There's iron there. Small wreckage. Good. Um, next thing it wants to do is place a water O2 condenser. So let's, did we, we were given one there. Okay, so that's good. So here, let's go, we'll just place it right beside the escape pod for now. And then you need to fuel it with biofuel. As soon as the water O2 can, has fuel, it starts generating small bottles so, and then it wants us to do something with the O2 bottles. Okay. So, let's fuel this thing. Now, I've got two biofuel on me that it started with because we started with medium difficulty settings. So, there used to be a bug. If you put two fuel in at the same time and then remove them right away, it would, it would run at the speed of what one fuel would have. So, let's try this. We're going to put two in at the same time and pull them out. And... Yeah, that bug still persists. <laughs> okay, bit of an exploit there. Um, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. We, uh, we'll go with the free biofuel. So it wants to do something with emergency O2 bottles. It wants us to make one. So we have... We have no water on us. But, from what I remember, in the escape pod there's purify water so from here we should be able to make one and that should complete the quest for us okay we can also use it right away uh, okay we'll let it update portable heater cooler Roll that down just for a quick second and pick it up. We don't. I'm not going to leave that down for no reason. That's going to be with me all the time. Okay, let's see what it wants us to do next. I'll clip my. Oh, it wants us to go to a map source down there. Okay. So large wreckage over on the other side of that mountain. Okay. Not exactly where I thought it was. I thought it was way over there, but that's obviously a small wreckage then. Um, and that would be a bonus iron deposit. Well, that's good. That's nice. Let's grab some of this stuff, and we're going to head over there. We're going to grab some of these um, rock resources too, real quick. And vegetables, that's good. So let's set this to resource drill. 
and we can smash rocks with it and drill the ground so you can see we can drill down if we want I'm not gonna bother right now I just Keep going this direction then. I'm just going to circle around here a bit and level up and grab some basic resources while the uh, oxygen CO2 is generating um, some oxygen for us. I might as well let it a bit. There's no dire emergency to go running off to the wreckage quite yet. I probably want to get there before nightfall though. So. But I'll grab these resources. I'll grab this large rock here because it uh, we need the crushed stone. So you need crushed stone to make uh, carbon substrate which is required in a lot of devices now you also need it for concrete and um, what else what else do we need rock for um, let's see it's getting hot getting a little bit beyond what we can handle That's fine. I just want to pick all this stuff. We can use our heater cooler if it really starts getting bad. I want to get as many of these rock resources as possible. That way we'll have some resources when we go to the wreckage. There is some at the wreckage from what I remember, but not very many, so we kind of show, want to show up there with, uh, with our arms full. Okay, nice. Cruising along. We'll head back and grab some O2 pretty quick here. I'm just going to do it in a bit of a circle. A roundabout way. Try and get all these resources, especially the rock ones. Although we should be able to find enough resource deposits on the way to the wreckage, or at least around the wreckage, that we probably don't need to worry about it. So I, can, I should probably just concentrate on leveling up here. We didn't we didn't level yet, have we? <laughs> oh yeah, we're almost level three. Wow, okay. <laughs> so shows you how well I pay attention. It's okay, we'll grab this stuff. There we go, level three. Getting warm. It's getting warm out. We might be able to find a a spot that's not quite so hot we might have to go down to the water for that though but those crickets I gotta be wary of they will attack you if you get too close they don't necessarily go out of their way to come after you uh, so they're not considered predator but yeah, they will attack and kill you if you get too close. So, just just to be aware of them. Uh, and they're not that easy to kill. They're actually pretty tough. I find the spiders much easier to deal with, to tell you the truth. Okay, it's really getting hot here. Really getting hot. That's okay. We've collected a lot of vegetables now and 
a lot of uh, oranges and our O2 generator should have made a whole bunch of free O2 for us with the uh, exploited <laughs> fuel. Okay. Now we didn't get any silicone so we can't make a bike but that's okay. Let's get over here and grab the uh, O2. Eight, we'll grab, a, absorb a couple of those right now. We've got a, a few more small bottles, so that's good. Or a couple more small bottles anyway. And it's going to be 38. Uh, we'll just pick that up now. That's fine. Okay, so let's start heading over to the large wreckage. If we have to, we'll put down the... See, it, it got cool enough here. And I think we passed the apex of the day, so it's going to start getting cool now. And before we leave the area, we'll grab a bunch of trees. We'll get some more rock here, too. Just don't, don't want to be too, too heavy. Is that it? Just the one? Okay. 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 So I should probably start gathering some wood here. Yeah, we'll grab it from... Uh, non-producing trees no sense destroying fruit trees if i don't need to oh did i actually is that seriously in the shade did no i thought hey the shade actually cooled me down but it didn't <laughs> okay defense mode Come on. Okay, there's a bunch of other regular trees here on the way. We'll grab them. I like how it renders stuff in now from a, from a good distance so it doesn't look so stupid. <laughs> it looked like a, an old... Spider-Man cartoon, oops, where it would give you like some fake looking stuff in the distance and then as you got close it wasn't, it wasn't what you see. <laughs> it's like, really? Ah, fell through the, okay, grab that. Okay, so while we're doing this, let's get my suit making turning stuff into these vegetables. We're going to turn some energy bars out. So let's just try and do 20 of those. Okay. What was our weight, by the way? We're at 190. Okay. 14 and 16, respectively. That's fine. Ooh, got it before it fell through the earth. And all those vegetables. So we should probably pick up our pace, I guess, a little bit. Come on. Gonna need some silicone. But we, there should be deposits near the large wreckage, so. Oh, come on. Oh, 
there's a spider up there. Hmm. I don't want to go that way. Let's go this way. We should turn our jetpack on. Get some faster travel out of... <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't jetpacking around before. I normally do. Just want to stay out of stay out of range of that spider. Copper down there. That's okay. I'm gonna get this iron. I'm just leery of critters because I can't really run away from them right now very effectively. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting all of our uh, all of the deposits. Okay, this is not looking too bad. I don't see anything too deadly. And copper and. So a couple of copper? Wow. Okay. So what do we got for wood on us? Nine? That's fine. Okay. Uh, wow, this is steep. <laughs> Okay, let's get over here. Look for spiders, no. Spiders and golems. Oh, that looks like silicone up there. at the large wreckage too so that's good okay and some silicone there we go good that'll allow us to make some stuff we didn't need much just a little bit more silicone that's all we needed Check out this small wreckage on the way. Since it's right here. What do you got for us? Ooh, we'll take it. Multi-charge and a couple computers. We can make use of those. Okay. Head into the desert and there's the silicone. Excellent. And level four. Nice. So we'll um, we'll get up to the large wreckage before we put down our our gear. We'll use that as a little base camp temporarily. personal cargo box. Well, I can do that. Hmm. This is an interesting one. Take a lot of work to seal it up, though. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Too much work to seal it up. Okay, so there it is there. Personal cargo. And I want all of this stuff. And we'll leave the spuds in there for now. That's fine. Okay. So. 
what we're going to want to do is put down our gear. Where are we going to want to put down our gear? We can put it down here. We can take out some blocks in the center here. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's do this. Let's go right here. So, oh, why did I fall right through? Is that not, oh, I see. So this, so why don't we remove this one then? So we can go into salvage mode is the third option for the multi-tool or the survival tool, I should say. And we'll just get rid of that. We got some steel plates out of that. And we should be able to put down, yep, yeah, nice. So we'll put that down there. We'll do the <laughs> trick there for 14 minutes of free uh, use. And then it wants us to unlock portable constructor, craft portable constructor, place it, and craft biofuel. Okay, so let's do that. So miscellaneous and then portable constructor. Um, I've got 40 points to unlock stuff with. So I think I also want to do a weapon. So we're going to do a shotgun. And multi-tool or scanner. Wireless ventilator. Uh, you know what? We'll hold off on anything else for now. So we're going to craft that. So it just has to be, we just need the ore on us. So we have enough there. So let's do that. Uh, portable constructor. There we go. And then here we'll take a bunch of our oxygen. And then we need to eat a bit here. And one more. There we go. Not too bad. We're in pretty good shape here. We've got O2 going again. I should probably make a second one. Iron and copper. I got lots of that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then once that's done, it's going to tell us to do stuff. I'm pretty sure it wants us to make a motorcycle, a gun, and detector. Okay, so let's get this placed. Uh, right there. And let's put this stuff in there. All in there. So I already have an ore scanner. That's handy. So I started with an ore scanner. That's good. Uh, it wants us to make biofuel. So we're going to make one of those since we already got biofuel. And... Is this one done? Almost nice. Get that one placed. We'll just do the same exploit. <laughs> For now, until we get enough biofuel, I just want to show people that there's still bugs in the game that seem to persist through alphas, and that's one of them. Uh, take biofuel out of the construction and use it power your oxygen generator. Yeah, that's fine. So we can do that. Actually, I'm just going to throw it in there for now. Uh, mine and pick up rocks. Zero five. So it wants us to get rocks. Okay, we can do that. Let's go do that before the sun goes down. So we needed silicone, didn't we? Ooh. It's way out there. The sun's going to go down too soon for that. 
Let's just get some local rocks here. I don't feel like going out at night, so we'll just we'll go after silicone tomorrow. For now, we'll just stay close to the uh, wreckage. Oh, it looks like there's some mining tower over there. See that? Cool. We can go explore that later too. There, there might be other wreckages near it too, and other POIs. Oh, there's copper right here. Here, let's um, dig in and go after some of this copper. I wonder if it'll count. Oh yeah, it, it will, because we just got one forget that rock. There it is. I want to dig myself into a hole I can't get out of. Pick up as much as this as we want to dare before heading back. Not a very big deposit. Wow. For being rich and plenty, this is kind of poor and crappy. That's okay. That's okay. We don't need much to get started, really. There's there's other deposits around, so I'm not worried. Okay, we don't want to get ourselves stuck. What are we at here? 51. That's not bad for a quick start. And then we can, if we want, use our drone to finish it off, which is probably not a bad idea. But I'm going to tab in and tab out really quick just to get my radar back now the problem with this is critters can walk up on me and and attack me and I won't know it until I'm being you know until I see my health going down there's another copper deposit over there so that's good What are we at? 18 seconds. Let's let's head back. Let's head back. We're gonna get our tent set up. We'll sleep for the night, and we'll call it an episode. This has been a a good episode because we haven't died. <laughs> okay, let's get back. Get back and get the tent set up. And just in time. Nice. Nice. Not sure if anything spawned around us. I'm just going to pop the drone out and take a quick look to see if there is any. Oh, yeah. So there's a dude right down there. He's pretty close. And then... So he looks like it. He looks like it. So he might see us from there. We'll just back off to to around this side. Give us as much uh, space as possible. Yeah. Okay, we should be okay. Uh, let's get the tent set up and we'll sleep for the night. So there's the tent. Put this ore in here and we can get that processing 
So what I want to do, actually I'm going to hold off on that, because what I want to do is, uh, do I need to turn all that into biofuel? No, not all of it. Actually, I'm only going to need a bit. I'd rather... I'd rather make another constructor, to tell you the truth. Let's um, let's go like this. Make another constructor. And then put the rest of this back. And now, I want to... What does that take? That takes mortar spike construction kit. Motor, nanotubes, optical fighter, electronic steel plate. Okay, it doesn't take ores, it takes ingots and other stuff, that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to refine all that and then what can I make? I'll do like 10. That should give us quite a bit of wood still. Okay. Uh, and then we'll sleep for the night. Let's actually, you know what? Grab this. And I'd rather get some longer time out of these. So I'm going to use up my biofuel that I have so that I, so that those will continue to run. Okay, take one more of those. There, we're doing pretty good now. Lots of O2 producing. Now let's get our light on. We'll get our tent thrown down somewhere. Maybe. It's quite a large tent, isn't it? Let's see if we can... There we go. Nice. Okay, and it's morning. Well, I'm going to call the episode here. Um, really good start. Next episode, we will continue on. I think I will go off camera and collect a whole bunch of um, ore. I'll just go dig, dig those up. We've got the uh, second constructor here made, so we can place that down now. And we'll have tons of, uh, yeah, tons, tons of O2. Yep, yep, tons of O2, so we're doing good for that. And then we should have a bunch of that so that's good Put that into there and then harvest craft energy bar why wouldn't it make us why didn't it make us do that before when we're see that's out of sequence the harvest right now is kind of stupid because i gotta go way away from where this is to try and harvest anything that should have been one of the first steps when you first crash. So that's out of sequence. I'll, I'll mention that to them, that's out of sequence because that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, what can we put in here? We don't really need to put anything in there. And that's fine. Yeah, harvest, really? That's silly, silly. That means I gotta make a motorcycle out of sequence because just to go harvest something. Yeah. So because of that, that's stupid. I'm going to skip it. So let's just select it and select it. There we go. Oh, it finished that. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing the, the next portion is the exploration. There we go. It should have made us do that first before heading to the large wreckage. 
Well, guys, uh, next episode, we're going to craft up a motorcycle and continue on with the Robson Protocol. Uh, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome day.